2023 and we're already eating good. That's right. Our boy Skrillex has dropped a teaser of his upcoming work. People on Reddit and Twitter have counted at least 18 clips inside this and this is super exciting. It's been almost 10 years since Skrillex put out any kind of EP or album. And in that time, he's been working more behind the scenes on hip hop stuff and the occasional single from time to time. I don't have the full list because it feels lengthy, but I have been diligent enough to throw them into a Spotify playlist as I notice them. Songs like Selection with Lil Tecca and DJ Scheme, 24 with Stara, don't Go with Don Tolliver and Justin Bieber in the ghetto with J Balvin. And while we could hear his production in all of these songs, most of his stands would say that they're not quite Skrillex enough. And you know what? I totally get where they're coming from. He has released a few singles and collabs like Warzone with Troy Boy, a Dog Blood EP, Supersonic with the Legends Noisia. Time to go get their splice sample pack. And just recently, Torture Me with 100 Gex. But once again, none of that really felt centered around the Skrillex project or sound. Until recently, we started hearing some rumblings of new actual Skrillex songs. First one that really popped up was clipped from Fred Against Boiler Room. Rumble, an absolute slapper. I'm just excited to hear the minimal dubstep sound coming back. More on that in a second. And a lot of these songs that we're now hearing in the teaser have been floating around anytime Skrillex shows up at an event, like his surprise appearance at Second Sky, or even just recently, his back-to-back -back with ISOXO at Brownies and Lemonade. Now, I browsed a little bit of Reddit, so take this with a grain of salt, but the track list they seem to have come up with include the collabs with Stara, the Eldorado Bongo Drop, the IDs with Blade, Kid Cudi, Porter Robinson, Trippy Red, all of these are collabs or IDs on the album, and of course the Fred Again songs that you can hear on his boiler room. But for me, personally, I'm staying cautiously optimistic. Skrillex has definitely been a huge inspiration for my own music, and probably 99.9% .9 of all the bass, dubstep, EDM, scene that we pretty much have today. I haven't personally met him, but a lot of my mutual friends have, and they say he's probably one of the sweetest people in the world. And because of that, I'm sure he's feeling the pressure. And when you get to a level of success where Skrillex is, sometimes that can be taken advantage of by some really awful people and hopefully this is just a picture and nothing more. Then when all the excision versus getter and space laces, that whole exploitation saga came to light, some of the Twitter heads wanted to throw Skrillex under the bus for that as well. From my searchings, I found zero proof of that, but you would be surprised how often a smaller artist is roped into doing most of the work on a song so that a bigger artist can just put their name alongside it. That's not the focus of this video. I want us to be focused on the music, about the teaser. There's a lot to be excited about. So here is my crazy theory. I'm thinking that based on the caption of the Instagram post, we're getting a double album. Skrillex has also been quoted saying he's working on multiple bodies of work, he's working on albums, and uh, the acronyms some people are thinking are don't get too close and quiet far forever, but who cares on the names? I'm more focused on what they sound like. He seems to be pushing for an evolution of his sound, as in the video we see his logo transform from the old harsh jagged edges to a softer, more rounded style. I'm thinking for the first album, it could be very vocal heavy. And I've always been a fan of that melodic Skrillex. All I ask of you, Summit, face your fears and how he's bringing his emo roots into it with the melodies and the vocal lines. Especially with all the nostalgia bait being super heavy in the past few years, this could pop off in a really big way. I'm more hoping though it leads a whole new audience to that sound and push it forward to places we haven't heard yet. The way the hyper pop scene has seen artists like Breakants and Dane doing the same thing with those influences. And not to alienate his original fan base, I'm thinking he his second album is for all the where are the drop Andes. From the clips and songs we've been playing recently, it's looking like he's stepping away still from the super chaotic bro step that made him famous.
famous to a more minimal old school vibe, which once again, could lead newer producers to exploring that sound and pushing the boundaries forward for that. I'm looking at you, Peekaboo Eliminate. Skrillex has always been known for being an influential force in the scene. So to hear what he's working on has a level of hype from everybody. His releases have always been these weird new combination of sounds that we kind of know. It's always something familiar seen from a different perspective. We should all strive to be like Skrillex when it comes to weird combinations of music that we like. And I think it's really important that we get that so we're not stuck with the same sounding stuff. So I'm personally hopeful and excited for the new album aside from any drama, hoping that Skrillex doesn't go that way. But I wanna ask you, what songs are you excited about? Are there any artists that have influenced you the same way Skrillex has for me? Do you just think he's washed and this is all overblown hype? Let me know below. Till then, go make some bangers. My conspiracy theory is the reason the album has taken so long is because he got signed on to do Kingdom Hearts 3. Imagine loving a game series for so long to get asked to do the title theme and then the game turns out to be just dog water. I would be sad as well. I would stop making music for like 10 years.